Two families are in mourning tonight in Chester, Delaware County after two young boys are struck and killed by an Amtrak train. Good evening, I'm Dawn Timoney. Police have not yet confirmed the victims' identities, but Cheyenne, you were on scene and talked to heartbroken family members. I did, Dawn, and Amtrak says that earlier this evening, one of their trains came in contact with people who were trespassing on their rails. Now, Chester police haven't released the identity or ages of those people killed, but on scene, we spoke to their parents who say they were just kids. I said, y'all need to come down off that track, and they just look, and I said, yeah, come down before y'all have an accident, something happened. I said, come on, and they just laughed and went on about their business. Not even two minutes later, the train, the Amtrak came, and I looked, and I said, oh, my gosh, I hope they're okay. That. But they weren't okay. According to Amtrak officials, train 161 was traveling from New York to Washington, D.C. around 4.30 p.m. when it came in contact with persons trespassing on the rail near Ingle Street, near West 4th Street in Chester. There were some children walking on the tracks. Oh, my God. It was around about five or six of them. And I, and, I, and I waved at them to tell them to get off the tracks, but they didn't listen. Chaplain Tamika Gibson from a local church was on scene of the accident, praying for the victims' families, along with Chester's mayor, council members, and school officials. Even after today, that the, there will be times that they'll need us. And so if it's a, a meal that needs to provide, be provided, we'll provide the meal. If it's prayer, more prayer, we'll provide more prayer. Whatever's needed for the family to get through this. Now, Amtrak officials say none of the nearly 400 people on board were injured, but they are telling riders to expect some delays if service has not yet returned to full service. This is just a heartbreaking situation happening in this Chester neighborhood, but as you just saw, the community really coming together to help them get through. I'm live in Old City tonight. Cheyenne Corrent, Fox 29 News. All right, Cheyenne, thank you.